We just got some really exciting news. PJ just got a phone call. The middle kiddo can now be enrolled in school. In fact, I think he starts tomorrow. Was that right? There's a chance he can start tomorrow. So there's a chance that he can start tomorrow. His older brother and younger sister are already in school, but there wasn't a spot for him to start this late in the school year. So he was just gonna start in August, but then the phone call happened and now apparently he can start school, which is so amazing because he's been kind of feeling left out at home with us. But we are about to go meet his teacher and see his potential classroom. If PJ could ever shower and finish and then one more coat of paint. And then... Yes. Where are we going? Daycare. Not daycare. Like school. School? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go look at your new school. Is that exciting? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Me too. Well, me here, You want to bring the reindeer? Yeah. Okay. We just finished getting the middle kiddo enrolled in school. He is so excited. Mm -hmm. And so to celebrate, we're gonna go and do lunch with him one last time. Aww. He starts school tomorrow. The last lunch. But before that, we're gonna run to Home Depot and look for some brass hardware for the new storage unit that we built for the laundry room. I say we, I, I was, built it. I was just about to say, and by we, he means him. But Thomas has been pushing for more storage in there for three years so I finally broke down and I yeah. mentally built it I'm giving him what he wants Crap. but we're gonna look for brass um, hooks to hang coats on we were originally gonna do wooden pegs but I don't know oh. we're gonna try and find some hooks mm-hmm tender two not to look, I was there morning, but... Run! Stop running! Today we taught R how to poke his food. Oh! Good job! <laughs> Yay! Thomas had to stop to get B-rolled this, so you'll probably see this in this vlog. Uh, so, today is the weekend. That's all it today, is. Today, yep, it's just today. The weekend It's only today. We have the kids. I've been working on the laundry room. And we're almost there, sweetie. Now we're heading to Thomas's mom's house because she's cooking dinner for us and the kids. So mm -hmm. that's sweet. Anyways, we're headed over there now. Thank you. The pine cone bit you? Be careful with this squirrel, okay? It's never looked this good <laughs> whenever we lived here. Was that new? She just painted it. They had it painted. She did or she, did. she had it painted. Recently? Um, like la last year? Literally 10 seconds. The oh my gosh, did you get new boots? Oh, wait, what? I love those boots. I've never seen so much garlic in my life. Thank you. 
gross. It's delicious. How dare you? So hey, will you check this out? So, I've never baked. Oh, me neither. What? Mom literally was like, Thomas does this Oh, yeah. Time. I don't do it. All. I've done it once, but I normally do it on a flat pan. Does it make a difference? Lila, has it been six minutes? Yep. We're, get, we're throwing the shrimp in right now. Is it? I don't know if it's done. You might want to stir it up a little. Doesn't seem done. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I have the receipt. I have to. Was either four bucks or what? It was either four or five. Nothing was under eight dollars. Nothing was under or above. Above. Sing it. It's okay. Yeah. Hey guys, while we're cooking, let's not be in here, okay? How is that? Let's go in the living room. As soon as it's done, you can... Hi. Um, <laughs> She's so cute. Hey. It's a little bit chilly but it's warm enough for the kids to jump on the trampoline. Is it chilly? I haven't noticed. Oh, he has a scarf on. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. There's not a cloud in the sky. You guys, we are considering something really crazy as of the last few days. Technically, we've been thinking about this for years. I've been thinking about it for years. I've been talking Thomas into it for a while oh and he's gosh. finally starting to consider it. But we found a house in Florida that we really like. It would not be a house that we would move to permanently, but it would be like a vacation house that we would also probably Airbnb. If we do buy this, we would most likely sell the, the house that we're gonna be turning into an Airbnb up here. I don't know. Yeah. Just a little thought we're having right now as we're discussing. TJ could, I feel like if you wanted to, if you want to talk me into it, you would move to Florida. He's been asking, or like talking about moving to Florida for so long. And, and then um, some bloggers that we've been following for years just announced that they are moving to Florida. That's inspiring him even more. We were already looking and when they said yeah. that, we were like, okay, we're gonna do it too. <laughs> they can do it, we can do it. Which we, we wouldn't move, we would just buy a second house. I, don't, I always tell PJ I could never live anywhere hotter than Tennessee and Florida is just as hot, if not hotter and more humid. So it's probably never gonna happen, but we're just throwing it out there. Okay, bye. So today is our first day of school. Are you excited? <laughs> and that means that all three kiddos are gonna be in school today for the first time in months, well ever. So it's gonna be kind of weird. You need to go to school. Just like brother and sister. <gasps> what? Whoa, that's a big bite. Good morning, sissy. Good morning. I'm trying to get clothes for the boys, but PJ took off the hardware on their dresser to put it on our new cabinet in the laundry room that he built. So. Okay. Why didn't you leave this open just a little bit so I could get in here? Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Let's see what they have in here. So we came out to the land because it is finally mowed after months of it being extremely high. And so we're kind of getting an idea of what it'll look like. It still needs to be bush hogged again, PJ said, but this is a vast improvement and you can really get a sense of how the land is laid out whenever it is mowed down this low. So let's take a look.
Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Hey, Gary, let me, let me. <laughs> that could not have felt good. Did that hurt? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Let me see. That is the perfect four. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, crazy. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Okay. They're closed. Hey, what'd you think? Did they clean your teeth? You get a new toothbrush? Mm -hmm. Wow, show me. Batman. Wow, Batman. Uh, what was that? What's today? Saturday night. And we just sat down to watch I Am Not Okay With This on Netflix. At the suggestion of a couple of y'all on our last YouTube video in the comments, we asked you guys what you're watching. You gave us some good suggestions. And this one looks good. I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm stretching my handy. Sure. I've been doing this like every night for the last maybe month. I'm going to be able to do a split. That's what you're stretching for? I thought you were doing it just to help your muscles. Come on. Uh, the back of my, is that a hamstring? I think so. The front is, the back of your leg is the hamstring. Right. Above your calf, right? Oh. Anyways, mine gets super tight and then my lower back starts hurting. But I also watched this guy, and he did stretches until he got into a split. God, that sounds so painful. Well, I mean, he did it over, like, a period of... I think he did, it took him, like, three months or four months. Are there any benefits, like, health benefits of being able to do a split? Well, no, but just being able, like, having... Being flexible? Like, not having tense muscles and relaxed muscles. Yeah, that's Good true. For your, like, it helps with pain management, I would believe. <laughs> okay, well, time to start this. It's only 20 minutes long, this episode. So we'll see how it goes. Was that fun? I did. Yeah. Well, you can you can ride it till we get back up here, okay?
that one. What about oh, dinosaurs? Yeah, dinosaurs. PJ, do you ever wear a shirt? No, but everybody has something to say about it. Well, for those that have something to say, why don't you explain why? I know we've done it before, but as a catch up, why don't you explain why you never wear a shirt besides the fact that you're painting? Uh, let's start off with, I'm at my house that I pay for. <laughs> oh my I goodness. I am comfortable in not wearing a shirt. So you're on our channel. Oh my God. The claws are out. If I decide to not wear a shirt in my house and paint my trim, by God, I am gonna do it. So. That's number one. For all you haters out there that have something to say about me not having a shirt on in my own house. No, that was definitely too much. What else? What's a more PG version of that? Um, You're always hot. That's what I was thinking you were gonna say. Yeah, but sometimes being polite is pretty good. No, well, being polite is always the answer. Um, but yeah, you're always hot, not really comfy in a shirt, yeah. and it's your house. So there you have it. Yeah, but I am really loving the laundry room. Me too. I think that we have decided to bite the bullet and purchase some in-store box cabinets from Lowe's that would fit on each side. It's cheaper than doing custom because I price custom cabinets and it will look better than if I make plywood book cases. So because this turned out so much nicer than I thought it was going to, I kind of want to spend the extra money and have nice cabinets. The cabinets will either have butcher block, which we are also going to get from Lowe's, or they're going to have um, like a Formica marble. I don't like the idea of that. I like the look of marble, but I don't like the idea of them for my cat. But the butch block would be nice, and wood with the green will be pretty. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably do uh, cabinets on each side with butcher block countertops. The height of this right here will get carried around this wall and this wall, and then go behind. And then instead of doing like a small shelf like I did on the top of that one, we'll do a really wide one, probably like 12 inches. So it'll be additional storage that we can set things on top of. Um, and then the board and batten will go up and down from baseboard to the top rack. We're thinking about also reusing this cabinet that we pulled out of the house for free. And we're gonna put it maybe there. We can put a lamp on it. And blah, 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 blah. Lots of plans. But since the last time we added this here, so it stopped here originally, and I was like, oh, we should do it around the whole room. So this one, I just painted so it's still wet. We're gonna add the same hooks on and all of that mess, like the brooms and the mops, we're gonna put leather straps on and we're gonna hang it here. Half the time when we're here, this door is always open. So they'll be hidden behind the door. We already tested it. We already bought the hooks. I'm just waiting for the paint to dry and we'll put it there. So we have hooks to go here. We have hooks to go here in case we decide to move this underneath the window so the kids can just hang up their own coats. Yeah, and I love it. The kids' toys are, oh, oh, I added these hinges to this and the kids' toys are already inside. Bada bing, bada bing, bing. I'm watching. So it is about six o'clock and we came out to the land again. This time we brought all the kids because we wanted them to see it mowed because they come out here, but they never really get the chance to walk around. And they're always like, we want to go to the land, we want to go to the land. So we finally came out here. Now that it's mowed, we came out here and brought them and we're just exploring. It's still kind of a little hard to walk. We mentioned last time, one more bush hog and it'd be good. We're just walking. 
Yes, you look good. Yeah, we're just walking. Yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Is uh -oh. that a boo-boo? Is that a boo-boo? Let me see. Yeah. Does it hurt? Yeah. Can you kiss it? Yeah. Mwah. All better? Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, baby, you hope it's a band-aid. Yeah, we need to get you a band-aid. Yep. Okay. You'll feel so much better, you're right.